right. What's up, everybody? My name is Dr. Daniel Ricciardi. I help clients with SIBO and other gut-related conditions. Super special video for you today. I'm gonna go through what I eat in a typical day to accomplish my goals of keeping SIBO at bay and also secondarily, goal I have is to build muscle as well. So without further ado, let's head to HEB on South Congress Avenue, Austin, Texas. Let's go. All right, it is Tuesday, April 12th, about 9 a.m. Got my reusable-ish shopping bags and heading into ATB now. House uh, got everything we needed, hopefully, and let's get cooking. Pun in, no pun intended, or pun intended. So we are back in the kitchen now, and I'm gonna tell you a couple secrets about myself. One is I am not a great cook, and two is I don't really particularly care to cook as well. Most of the cooking I do is in a large batch style type cooking preparation where it seems like I'm cooking for a cafeteria of people. It is typically just me though. Also, the secrets weren't that fun or revealing. The meal that you just saw is arguably the most aesthetically pleasing preparation of a food dish I have ever personally put together, but I'm here for you and you're gonna get my best. This is probably 80 to 90% of the food that I eat, give or take swapping in vegetables or whatnot. Let's take a look here. We got some pasture-raised eggs, whole chicken, just to get some variety of different types, some chicken breast, carry gold, dub liner cheese, which is cheddar, it's delicious. It's supposed to be easy to digest as well. So I like that one. Some broccoli, got some kale greens, which I really like turning it into chips. You kind of just bake it in the oven with some salt and garlic. Sweet potatoes, lemons to go in water for flavor. Brown rice, almonds, just regular dry roasted ones. Uh, avocados and bananas. <music> Chips are done. Tasty, salty, crispy. Approved. It is about 10 a.m. right now. It's my first meal of the day. I'll show you what we got. All right, so we got some grilled chicken, seasoned with a few spices, garlic, salt, and whatnot. I got some sweet potato, broccoli, cheddar cheese, a couple eggs, and then a little bit of parsley on top as a garnish and for flavor. And it's also good for detox, has a lot of B vitamins in it. All right, so something you probably just noticed from previous video clips is I did include the actual total calories I'm eating and the macronutrient concentrations of protein, carbs, and fats. If you're somebody that is just focusing on only getting rid of SIBO, you can pretty much just completely ignore this. Well, I should say not completely. Obviously, it's good to have a balance of each of the macronutrients for most people. Basically, I put this in there because I said secondarily my goal was to build muscle. And in order to do this, I found that it's just very helpful to know what you're eating on a daily basis, including total calories, which you want to be in a slight surplus of total calories compared to your basal metabolic rate. And by basal metabolic rate, I mean just the number of calories it takes to sustain your body when you're literally just living and existing, not even taking into account uh, exercise and stuff like that. There's a few variables in terms of calculating it, but in general, just take the amount of pounds you weigh and multiply that by 14 or 15, and that's your basal metabolic rate. If you don't use pounds, use metric system, just take whatever amount of kilograms you weigh, multiply that by 2.2, and then multiply that by 14 or 15. So I weigh about 160 pounds, so for me, my target is to get about 2,400 calories, and then I try to do one gram of protein for every pound of body weight. So I try to come in around 160 grams of protein as well, and that is why I'm just showing you the nutrition facts on the videos as I will go through the rest of the day. Okay, so this brings us to lunchtime. It is about 2.30 p.m. right now, and we are in the backyard. It is hot as f 
out here right now. It's probably about 95 degrees. Here's what we got for lunch. I don't know if you can see that. Chicken thigh, rice, egg, cheese, broccoli, and then cilantro. So as I mentioned, I went from about 10 to 2.30, so like four, four and a half hours between eating. I do intermittent fasting. Key reason is you want at least four hours, in my opinion, to get the migrating motor complex to kind of cleanse the intestines. So this is basically the most important thing that I do, at least in my opinion, in order to prevent a recurrence of SIBO. And I will continue to do this indefinitely. For a lot of years when I was kind of going through SIBO without knowing, I pretty much snack the entire day throughout the day. So at minimum, like every two hours. And I kind of think this in part kind of contributed to it. All right, this brings us to dinner time. So it's about 7 p.m. right now, and I'm about to have my largest meal by far of the day. Pretty similar to the previous ones. I got some sweet potato, a turkey burger with cheese, some chicken, broccoli, and then for dessert, also do a banana with sweet potato as well. So when it's all said and done, it's probably twice the amount of calories as I had for my previous meals. So if you saw some of my previous videos on SIBO, when I was doing a SIBO protocol and had SIBO, I did cut out gluten, dairy, sugar, and alcohol. I'm not exactly doing all of that now. As you can see, I do have some cheese in my diet. Uh, gluten, I still seldom eat. Sugar, seldom eat. When I say sugar, I mean candy and stuff like that. I don't mean fruit. And then alcohol, I will have drinks occasionally, but it tends to be not very much. Okay, and then one final thing I haven't talked about yet was supplements. I do take them right in the middle of each meal. For breakfast, we have uh, a Vitanica Flora Symmetry Probiotic. Also, this Thorn Basic two a day nutrients, which is basically just a multivitamin. Take one of these in the middle of breakfast. Take a Enzymatica Digest Basic Digestive Enzyme and a just a ginger root 550 milligram capsule as well. And then moving on as for lunch, I do take one of these in the middle of lunch and that is the only supplement I take during lunch. For dinner, this I do take another digestive enzyme in the middle of dinner and also another multivitamin. And that is it for supplements during meal times. All right, so a couple final points. Uh, first, sometimes I'll have a coffee in the morning. If you're having just a regular black coffee that does not break your fast, that is okay, go ahead and do that. Secondly, I do not snack. And frankly, I don't even really see the point of it. If you're eating meals that are full and fill you up each time you sit down at the table, you probably won't even be thinking about snacking because you'll be full. Snacking in between these meals will also throw off the job of the migrating motor complex, which we don't want if we're trying to get rid of SIBO or prevent it. If you notice during all my meals, I did not have any work or anything that looked like it possibly would be stressful next to me. This is really important because if you're relaxed and not stressed out when you're eating, your body actually produces a lot more digestive secretions, which will help with getting rid of SIBO and preventing recurrence of it. Obviously this is easier said than done, but I do think that it is something worth striving for. I'm also chewing my food incredibly thoroughly. If you ask anybody that knows me, they will tell you that I'm probably the slowest eater that they know. It takes me at least 30 minutes to eat probably what I showed on each of those dishes. That is actually it. Hopefully this vlog was entertaining and enjoyable. Uh, if you'd like to see more of them, please let me know in the comments, or if you have any questions about anything, please leave them below. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch my video. It means a lot to me. Please stay tuned for the next video, which will be out Monday, 6 p.m. Central Time. Thank you very much, y'all. Have a good day.